Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new series on a game called Into the Stars. Into the Stars is a game where you take the role of a captain in a spaceship survival simulation as you explore the massive star system and search for a new home for humanity. You outfit your ship and handpick your crew to set off on a journey through the open world where you must scavenge resources, shelter civilians, and outrun a hostile alien force. Now, with that said, it's not a really a survival game. It's more like a roguelike game uh, where where you, you take your ship and your crew through the galaxy and try to find a new planet for them to settle on while picking up resources on the way through. Uh, kind of mix faster than light with maybe the resource collection aspect of maybe Mass Effect and then thrown into like a Star Trek sort of universe. Uh, those kind of things together, much more than a, uh, a Rust or a DayZ with simulation base. This is a single player game. It's coming out on Steam sometime mid-July, I believe, and the developers were kind enough to give me an early, early access build uh, so I could kind of play some of it before the game came out. So if you do want more information about this game, down below in the video description we will have everything you need to know, including links that will take you to the Steam page and the developer's official page. I played it for about an hour uh, so far, so I'm kind of a noob at the game. It really feels a lot like a slower paced, faster than life in a three-dimensional world. So uh, I guess without further ado, let's get going. Congratulations on being selected to command the Ark-13, the final ship to leave our home. So there you go. We're leaving Earth, or our home, and we're in Ark-13. We are the commander of the ship, and we get to pick our player. Um, I don't, I'm kind of just a little bit ticked that there aren't any of these that have beards except for the old guy. Uh, I'm assuming there's a way to implement your own, your own face into here, so I'll just pick one. There was one, oh, yeah guys, he got a smug face. Let's play with him, whatever. Uh, and then we can do, select a bio too. So we have scientist, which gives us um, top scientific minds of the planet. You utilize your keen understanding of systems to educate your crew. You do a plus five additional engineering stat this at mission start man nah, not so good uh, this is a toughness bonus at the start so it gives them a little more combat focus um, entrepreneur born a hustler you managed to rise to the top of the business without formal training that's like us in YouTube we're going to the top without any training at all just kind of winging it uh, negotiating skills to the table and get a discount on all trades that's kind of cool and then survivalist you spend a year or Years spent avoiding capture behind enemy lines has made survival in the hostile environments your specialty. Gives your crewness, crew a bonus to all success rates. I'm gonna do that one. Uh, that one seems to be pretty good. I wish this guy would have a beard. I really do. Anyway, Final next up. Is at your discretion. All right, we. Choose wisely, as we have limited space on board. Thanks for interrupting me. Uh, this is the uh, crew or the ship outfitting system. So you have a thousand credits here, and some of these things are a little bit more than that. Like this one is 75. Well, no, you have to buy them all, and then it goes all the way up. And then down here is the resource usage, how much resource you use. So we obviously need life support. This uh, creates oxygen supply. Oh, and there's different types. I didn't realize that. <laughs> cool, and we can upgrade these eventually. Um, convert CO2 to supply oxygen for your entire ship, keeping you and your inhabitants alive and breathing. Efficient consumption rate and greater cost. Okay, so this is the Mastodon. Unique design that converts CO2 and biomatter to oxygen where you can breathe easily. Spread out your resource consumption with a reduced cost. So we can do two different things compared to just using three CO2. We can use two CO2 and two biomass. And then the Master is the top of the line. Oxygen conversion system reliance on, well, CO2 and nitrogen means higher resource consumption with a reduced cost. So it's cheaper, it's 55. Uh, this is basically the same. Oh. Okay, that's the first one. Gravity boat. Yeah, these are, there's only three here, it looks like. Yeah, so what I've been playing with is this first one here. Uh, I guess let's do this one since it's a little cheaper. And then the protein sequence here. I didn't realize there was arrows to the side. I guess they're big flashy arrows that evidently I didn't see. Uh, and then we have the, the, uh, the simple meal protein sequencer. This is 100 credits for that one. We get 75 credits for the lots of eats. And heavy resource consumption. So it's three and two. And you get this, oh, two nitrogen. You get this stuff from um, doing mining in other missions too. Uh, so the maximum protein, that's really expensive and it uses a lot of resources. Let's just go ahead and do the simple meals. We'll equip that one. And engine, engine's cool. Uh, 
Bob Star Cruiser engines. Okay, and they all pretty much run, oh, they have different top speeds too, so 15,000, uh, 13, 5, 10,000, 12,000. I'm gonna go with this one, Interstellar engine. Uh, top speed's higher, and I like that. And then there's some other things here. Um, the exploration and mining. It's a good idea to have shuttles, super shuttle, filthy shuttles. Oh, filthy ones are worse than the super ones. That's kind of weird. And then we have meh shuttles. They're just okay. Uh, combination of CO2 and hydrogen. High, lower cost, but higher resource usage. It's kind of a good idea. Maybe we'll try that one. And we'll try to balance some of these things. Mining probe. Um, this one's cool. Look at that. 65 credits compared to 55. And this is what you launch down the planet to get automatic resources. Um, small amounts of hydrogen and nitrogen. So something you could do here too is min-max. So you could balance all of this to only need like maybe three resources, which would be kind of an interesting idea. Something to definitely do in the future of this game. Wow, this takes a lot of manganese. Manganese or magnesium? Magnesium, okay. Let's, uh, let's do this one. Just take the nitrogen. And then the mining rig. And let's see, that one's okay. 55 CO2 and magnesium. Okay, I, I kind of want to get all of these things together and we'll just let's see. Damage 25, ooh, 12, four. How many higher technologies? Yeah, there's three. APOC Weapon Corporation. Charge time, charge time's longer. So it's the damage per time, that's two, that's a little under two, and that is way under two. So let's take this one, equip that. Faster charge time, a little bit better. Blast Nose Thundercat, most powerful in our arsenal. Damage 40 charge time, so that's two, two, and two. I'm gonna take that one. Just faster recharge time and the same damage output overall. And then shields. Damage absorption 15, 5, 10, 15, so it's 10 per, that's a 12 and a half, that's 20. I guess that one's the best value. And then we have enough for how much here? Equip, equip, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mining rig, can we drop you down to 100? Nope, except, can we drop you down any? Nope, can we drop you down any? No, we're gonna keep that engine because it's faster, hey. That is one thing in the game. Uh, as it is an early access game, there are some little weird things. You can select all the text, which just seems really strange when you're playing a game. Protein sequencer. I don't know. I guess that'll work. Let's see this thing. Oh, we do get some cheaper ones. That one, we can save us $25, and it'll allow us to get another cargo bay. Awesome. All right, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. So what we need is like uh, per, per module, per day, we need five biomatter, and we need two CO2, two nitrogen, and two hydrogens. So we can go to this next page. That best meet the needs of our modules and civilian See, there's a little bit of a wonkiness there. Um, hydrogen, we don't need too much of it. And it's just a little bit of a wonkiness in the selection, but it only happens just a few times. I kind of wish there was a like click and type in what you want, but there isn't one. That's okay. We'll go 500 here. We're gonna need a lot of biomatter. We're gonna need like five times more biomatter than hydrogen. No, we aren't, because that's four. Never mind. I didn't see the four. We'll go a thousand. We'll go like two thousand with the biomatter. Okay, that's fine. And then two of this. Let's go down a little bit more. Go up. About a thousand there. Yeah. Nitrogen, we need some. And we definitely need some manganese too for the mining rig. We don't really have to have it, but it is a nice touch. Drop that down. We need less CO2 than the rest of them, but we need a lot for that, for the, the other things. But we'll get into that in a little bit. I'm just kind of rushing through this. I guess that's a, a, shoot, that's not very good. Um, kind of a crash course at the, at the game here. At the starting, at capacity. when we start up another run, if we start up captain. another run, uh, I'll min-max this beforehand, and then we can play it later. But uh, next thing is the crew, the crew selection panel. So there are a bunch of different things here. There's the mining, there's the command, and the engineering, and the piloting, and the medical, and the toughness. Uh, you kind of want to get a, a rounded, a well-rounded group. 
So you can kind of click on these to sort them. So we have Frank Scott, who's our best manager, or our, our miner. Best miner, right? Yep, yeah, best miner. Gonna list you. All right, and then we'll go to command. Emma White, she's pretty good at command. And engineering. Oh, Billy is great at engineering. And so is Estefan. Let's take him too. Piloting, pilots are always good. And medical, we'll take one med. And toughness, Betty. Betty is tough. Uh-oh, can't get Betty. Um, Billy? Uh-oh, can we remove him? Hey, remove, remove, we'll do this again. All right, so manager, Frank. Excellent, command, Emma. Engineering, Billy. Piloting, Gus. Medical, Lisa. And Betty. Okay. That's a little weirder than I thought it was. I thought you could do two and you had one extra. Evidently not. Let's go. Alright. So we are the last of the ships that are leaving Earth. Which is kind of cool. Um, we're going out into the world. And here's kind of the beginning. Alright. So you can see the controls here. Shift is accelerate, control is decelerate, or reverse. And you have a Q for the rudders, kind of a, mm, I don't know, barrel roll maybe. Roll effect left and right. Pitch up and down, space bars, pause. C is go between camera and external cameras, and then middle mouse click. Allows you to go through right and left, click, go around, and interrupt on prompt. So if you go to a planet, it's really cool. So check it out. I've attempted to hail the other ARC vessels, but have yet to receive a response. Picking up numerous signals now, this system appears to be quite active. You should note that the Scorn likely tracked our movements here and will attempt to follow. We should keep moving and try to reach Titus Nova as quickly as possible. Alright, so that's kind of the, the idea of what's going on. Isn't this pretty? Isn't the game just gorgeous? I think so. Kind of the space atmosphere. Doesn't really have the faster and light aspect to it yet. Um, but I'm gonna kind of bank over here and raise the nose up. We can go directly up to that planet We can do some mining in it. There's also things that are hidden sometimes in here that I found uh, But let's take a peek into our cabin All right, this is where it gets into Star trek -y mode where uh, Where we can still control the main ship, but you can see our speed we can increase speed using our shift key and It's going up and up and up. We got our fuel which is our great. Oh, there is something right in there See the big shiny thing in there? Go check that out. Uh, and then there are the things, like the maps. So the whole object is to explore this entire map. So all of these different sectors, alpha sectors, what we're in now. Um, and we have the resources, how many resources we have. I'm still going to try to get in there, we'll slow it down a little bit. Uh, and then the daily consumption, and then how much we have, the storage space we have total. And then, oops, slow down. Wanted to see what was in there. It doesn't look like anything is. It was that thing right there. Uh, and then the engineering bay, which allows us to do different things like repairing our systems. And then the crew, this is kind of where the interface gets kind of cool. Um, there's all sorts of things here like storage breach. We've detected a hull breach in the storage bays. We're losing resources, Captain. So let's send Frank in there. Frank is gonna, Frank the tank is gonna do that. Uh, let's go back. And then back to the chair, very cool. So let's zoom back out to the main ship thing. And we're gonna head down to the planet. Hopefully we can find some cool event that happens here. Uh, we need to increase our speed. There's a lot of interesting events and strange things that can happen. There's a whole bunch of scripted stuff. Threat lovely alert. Scorn tracking our position. Medical alert. Uh oh. Space diarrhea has broken out. We need to send in our medical to clean that up. Ew. Medical 047. Medical U. Let's do that. Go ahead and clean it up. And then storage. She's doing that. Awesome. So let's go back outside. We're soon going to dock to this planet or get very close to it. Oh, what is this? Ship uncloaking. Huh. Opening comms. They scorn our hive mind race. No one knows where they came from. Their home seems to be a aboard a massive ship that is always on the move. They move from star system to star system, systematically destroying and wiping out the native species of the reason. Their only goal is eradication. It's a drone. We have become an annoyance. Death awaits us. Assign battle stations. All right. So the deflector shield needs the commander skill. So we can put in our best commander. Oh, someone's on task. Let's put in Emma down here. 
Torpedo requires engineering. So our best engineer, 45, 54, probably you, 47, okay. Laser accuracy is engineering, so let's put our second engineer, which we don't, oh, one. Okay, oh, yeah, that really works. Good job. And then, I guess medical here. Actually, why don't you go there? Then you can come here. Very good. All right, let's confirm it. Let's see what we can do. So we have, uh, let's pause it. So we have our couple different things. We have our fire of our laser cannons. We also have our deflector shield that can go up. If we let it go, we can use this. And fires one. So we missed. They hit us. We missed. They hit our mining rig. We can use our deflector shield. Keep using. Oh, you're kidding me. You guys are the worst. There's a hit. Right in the eye. We missing. Okay, that's our crew is taking damage. Medical issue okay. resolved. Engineering issue resolved. We'll deflect that. We missed the deflection. I gotta time medical that right better. Requested. Okay, I understand. We'll do medical attention soon. Okay, here we go. Bad shot. I see it charging. Let's use it. Yes. I think we deflected it. Very good hit. Double hit. Oh, we get to target different things too. Much like Faster Than Light. Deflect your shield up. Another deflection. Oh, come on. We got this. This will be the first time I actually win the battle. Shot blocked. Oh, come on. We missed, Captain. Keep missing. Good. They blocked our shot. Oh, they keep blocking it. Oh, yes, there we go. <gasps> and then we get resources from it too. Nice. Okay, so we need we need like pretty much everything. <laughs> and it's a little bit wonky. Like we're we're selecting things. Kinda wish that would go away. Okay. Take all that. That's really weird. Kind of ruins the immersion a little bit. I really wish there was a type and you could type in like max. But we can get our ship capacity, we'll get everything in. Very good. And then we'll confirm it. Nice. Awesome. And then we need to go and check out our crew, see if anyone's all right. How much damage did we take? We can throw some people into the med bays. They should be okay. Throw the engineering bay up. Uh, we can put this up in the hull plating. Very good, that's a little health. Great, what does this do? Nothing. Alright, let's go back and try to get into this planet. Do some mining quick. Oh, interact. Okay, desolate younger planet. Blue hue is due to the high amounts of methane in the atmosphere. Uninhabitable humans, but rich in resources. Let's go take a look. Uh oh, service, power service distribution? All right, so we can do some things. We can deploy our shuttle team, which would allow us to go down to the planet directly, or we can send in a resource probe, which is kind of cool. Pilot selection. And we have a remoted pilot, so we need to get our piloting skills. Uh, probably you, looks like you're a good pilot. We'll send you down here to Gus. Good Gus conditions. on the bus. Yes, 94 chance of percent success. Probe away. Send that resource probe down to the planet and get some sweet loots. Yes. Probe flight was successful. Selected. And nice, and this is automatically got probes for us. So this kind of feels like the Mass Effect 2 sort of resource gathering. But there isn't, like, you can't double click and get everything in. I really Orange wish that was the case. Scorn force inbound. Uh oh, Scorner inbound. Maybe I shouldn't drag. I'm too busy playing RimWorld. I can just hold it, can't I? Okay, yellow alert, we're still good. And then we'll confirm that. Excellent. Captain. What are your orders? Well, let's deploy the mining, mining rig. rig Just to show you guys what this is like. All right, so we need a pilot, which would be, let's see, you are my best pilot. Put you in there. And then mining rig, oh, you're there. And then we need a miner. Miner 31, 42, 48, 54. Great, ready up. Good conditions. 96 chance. Mining rig launched. And this is one of my favorite things in the game is how to actually collect these from the mining rig. It gets pretty cool. You can see this little computer screen there. Yes. Successful. 
And nice, we get to use the actual drill using the A and D keys. Uh-oh. And it's kind of a mini game that you have to make it through these resources. You don't want to hit the bad stuff, the red boxes. And, uh oh, I'm done. <laughs> See, that's kind of cool. And then you get resources based on how well you did. So we got some CO2, we got some biomatter, and a little bit of nitrogen. So it kind of paid for our trip. Not really, though. It kind of did, but not really. We could send another one if we wanted. Okay, and go here. Excellent. Let's confirm this. We had 420 and 500. Captain. And we can send a shuttle team. I've not actually done this. Let's try it. Select the shuttle team. I don't know what this will do. So we need our pilot, which would be... Who's my pilot? You were my pilot. And this gives... This does level them up, too. And then our commander skills. Looks like you are my best commander. And a medical officer. Med, 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 med. You are better at meds. Ready up. Good conditions. Launch. Okay, we'll see what happens. Uh oh. Yes, successful flight. Awaiting orders, Captain. Ooh, alien research. Celebration of ancient ruins. Let's do this. Alien research. Let's proceed. 83%? Yeah. Woohoo! Merely a routine scan. Gave us some items for the Mission trouble. Complete. Returning to ah, ship. Engine. New. A new engine. Top speed. Uses biomatter instead of hydrogen. Yeah, let's do that because it uses two. That's awesome. So it uses less overall stuff. Module active. That's awesome. Captain, what are your orders? Okay, uh, let's go back. Engineering alert. Uh oh, crew fire. Better send in uh, Frank, Frank the Tank, and Billy Leave Joel. Leave the sector immediately. Uh oh. Leave the sector immediately. Let's do this. Get out of here. Oh, and there's some. There's something right there too. I love this. It's so pretty. I'm hoping it's stable. I haven't had any crashes with it. But I'm really, really hoping that it's a, a stable build. What is that? It must be a ship, I'm guessing. We could check on the map uh, what's going on, too. Is that another one of our ships? Might be. It does, it's a little bit slow out on the engineering the, issue uh -oh. resolved. Okay, we're good. Engineering issue resolved. Let's go into here. Medical alert. Medical Entry alert. Orbit. Engines now idle. Uh oh, Awaiting civilian. Deployment. Wait a minute. I don't want this. I don't want to get into Oh. Where am I? Where am I going? I think I need to go backwards. And it does totally stop you once you get into orbit too. Which is a bit annoying. We hit the map. Let's open up the map. It should be two. Yep. Okay. So we can see where we want to go, which should be forward. Let's go this way. Set course, and that should give us a waypoint. Let's also go to the crew. Should have something happening here that we need to deal with. Hypothermia. Let's see medical. Medical. You're medical. Very good. Let's get back out. And I need to figure out where this is. So let's look. Oh, it's back that way. And there's that thing that we were going to go check out. Medical alert. Mysterious virus. So we need to pull way back. We need should really get out of here, though. We need to turn it around. That is the uh, star. The system sun. Okay, where is where is the whoa? We're too close to that star, Captain. Star, Captain. You can call Medical me Star Lord. Resolved. Okay, and okay, we're gonna get back in here, get the crew. Scorn tracking our position. Uh oh, we gotta get out of here because this scorns. Medical, good. See, where am I going? I am. I need to go that way. Should be rotate and down some more. My other down? Yeah, nose down. It's inverted. Should we go for that planet right there? Maybe. I kind of want to see what that thing is, but I'm scared. 
It's the last time I, I hung around too much in one system and I got ran over by the scorn. Or whatever their names are. Really need, do need to go somewhere else. Alright, map. And let's set it for the other side of the... Over, over here. Set course. Alert. Another deadly bacteria. Oh, wow. They died quick. Alright. There, we can go to that way. We'll just leave whatever that item was behind. And I tell you what, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. Kind of a different game than what I usually play. Um, but it's been a lot of fun from what I'm trying. Resolved. <laughs> Just a lot of interesting things happening, like you're the actual captain of a starship. So, thanks for watching, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.